Do we humans cause lameness in horses? Hoof Care Today with Gene Obanek is brought to you by EDSS, the leader in hoof care technology and information. Wow, that's a loaded question. And it requires a little bit of thought to really give you a good answer. First of all, we have to understand what causes lameness. And with the technology that we have today, we have a better idea of what those causes are. And we're finding that hoof capsule distortions are the major component to why horses become lame. And so we are responsible for how the foot is shaped, what we do with it, and if a farrier is not abreast of the information that's available today and cannot resolve those hoof distortions and actually promotes them, yes, in fact, they can be a part of it. But you know, there's easier things in this world to do. All of us who do this kind of work are very passionate about it. Nobody goes out there to do intentional harm. It's our responsibility to become informed. Those that can look at the foot realistically from the inside out and with better balance in their mind, I think those are the people that can keep a horse sound and, and free of hoof capsule distortions. You know, we were educated in a certain way and the education that was in this profession 50, 100 years ago was promoting hoof capsule distortions. You can't use the same tools that created the problems to resolve them. We need to listen to the horses more. They'll give us guidelines on what they do. If they're uncomfortable with what we're doing, we need to change. We have more information. We have all the technology today to know what causes these problems. And it's not perfect, but it's on the road to a better world for horses. And I think people need to be more abreast of information that deals with hoof distortions. To continue learning about this topic, go to hoofcaretoday.com. And to learn more about EDSS, the leader in hoof care technology and information, visit edsshoofcare.com.